Hi guys, I'm Kat with Pocket Full of Posies and today I'm going to share one of my favorite leveling tricks with you for leveling your Silhouette Studio designs. Now last month on Silhouette School I shared with you this fun little clip-on stencil level from Cutting Edge Stencils and a lot of you requested a video tutorial so that's what we're going to do today. This stencil level is awesome. It can be used for so many things. You can use it for signs, mugs, anything. It comes on this plastic wings that you can trim down if you need it to be smaller. And it's really, really helpful. It's helped me so much. And today, to show you how to use it, I have this fun, easy, simple spring sign that we're gonna make. I already have my designs cut. I have my level. I have some fun paper flowers I've already made, hot glue gun, and scissors. That's it, that's all that you need to make this fun, fast, easy project. So hang on, we're gonna get started. So now what we are going to do is work on applying our design using the level. I've already cut and weeded my design and applied my transfer tape. Now this is very important. Do not throw away the backing material from the transfer tape. We are going to cut a thin strip of the backing material about the width of the level and apply it to the top edge of the transfer material. Now you want to be careful that you are not covering up any of the vinyl when applying this thin strip. Then we are going to apply the level. Now it's very important when applying the level that the bubble on the level is facing the back or the non-sticky side of the transfer material. To add the level, you are going to open these little wings with your fingernails. It's best to pry it open and slide both the transfer paper and the backing material into the level. As you're sliding it on, you want to make sure that it's pushed all the way to the back of the, of the clip. The reason why we apply this thin strip of backing material is to protect the transfer paper as we slide the stencil level on to keep it from bunching. Now, if at all possible, you want the center of the bubble to be lined up with the center of your design. I have found the best way to apply the stencil level is by applying it upright. For this, I like to use an easel or hang my design on the wall. Now that we have applied our level to our design, it's time to apply our design to the sign. Simply find the center of the sign like you always would and adjust the level and the design until the bubble is in between the two middle lines. Once you've found that spot, simply lightly push down on the transfer material, securing your design to your sign, and gently remove the level and the thin strip of backing material. Now that our design is in place, we can take it and lay our sign flat and continue to push on the design. A great tool for applying the vinyl is the back of the stencil level. Simply push on the design just like you always would with a scraping tool to push your design onto the sign. Now that my design is securely in place, it's time to peel back the transfer tape, just like always, revealing a smooth, straight, level design on our sign. Now that our design is in place, the last thing I want to do is add a few fun spring paper flowers and leaves to dress it up a little bit. Now we have this pretty spring sign, all perfectly straight and level, and ready to be put on display. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. 